What's up YouTube? Do you want to be a fighting violet like me? Full disclosure, I went for my masters, but if you're interested in New York University, stay tuned for expert tips on how to write the YNYU essay. Thank you for joining me on my channel for the best college essay advice. Subscribe and hit the bell to be notified when I post a new video every Tuesday. I put on the sweater, it's gonna help me with the video. NYU has incredible brand power and reach all over the world. Every year, students express their heartfelt interest in attending the institution. But beyond GPA, strength of coursework, and um, SAT, ACT scores, what do you need to stand out? A stellar, stellar YNYU essay. By the end of this video, I will show you what you should have and definitely what you should take out. Hi, I'm Dr. Josie with Write Your Acceptance with hundreds of students in college, or graduates by now, yes, some at NYU, very, very happy and thriving. I know how to help you stand out and write that stellar YNYU essay. Stick around. So I'm gonna start sharing my screen so that you see kind of the process of researching. I have two major kind of components that you wanna start thinking through. You will start going through the website, but then also you wanna open a document where you have these kind of subsections. This is for YNYU, and so I would have all of my notes depending on school, right? But you want to have homepage news, major, so learning in the classroom, your research, beyond the classroom, and living and socializing at NYU, right? And so these notes I'll share with in a second. So those subheadings you want to have, and then we'll start plugging in different types of information during our kind of website research. So the first thing is what's on the homepage, right? So we're going to get started, and so then you have a few, and all of the university homepages tend to be different, but you'll have kind of, in a snapshot, a 30-second commercial, this is what's important to them answering their YNYU. So this is important to see kind of their priorities, right? So um, we have, if you are interested in science or healthcare policy, a measles outbreak, you can kind of start just... Um, collecting this information. Um, someone, a professor won uh, breakthroughs in um, artificial intelligence. I think he was affiliated with uh, Facebook at some point. We have their Instagram. So I'm just kind of opening it in new tabs. Um, so how they kind of socially portray themselves to the world. Um, an article on selfies, that would be fun. Okay, so we go to this first one, which is a professor winning an award on breakthroughs in artificial intelligence. If this is of interest, I would just kind of basically copy paste the beginning section to my notes. And so this is gonna become much more kind of feasible as like a three page document of notes later on than just kind of looking at the website. So, um, so I have that and so I have their Instagram and FYI, you should be following all of the schools that you're applying to. You should be liking their page, liking their posts, um, being pretty kind of active. And so you get to see kind of what they're showing, right? So they had um, pride events, um, their commencements, and how cute. Okay. And then one of my favorite traditions, which is the um, strawberry shortcake. So this is the longest strawberry shortcake of the Strawberry Festival for NYU. So I'm gonna copy this as kind of life at NYU. And you can pick anything, right, that is kind of socializing. Um, so we have that, and then we have the article, the new story, Feeling Selfie Conscious. So it here, so this is kind of state of where the research was, and now that it takes you out of the moment. Okay, so how selfies take you out of the moment while you try to help collectively celebrate. So I'm gonna put this in home page. Now you're not gonna use all of this, but you're just kind of canvassing the, the website and organizing information that you can potentially use. And then the career development and jobs. So this is very interesting. Um, most important is all about NYU Wasserman. So now you know that the career services section is the Wasserman building. And so um, you have Alumni services, so they help you beyond graduation, career coaches, resources and services. Uh, there's handshakes so that you can go to basically kind of a list of internships that you can apply to. There are career fairs. You'll get help with um, kind of career coaching services like prepping the resume and prepping for an interview. So this is important. So I'm going to put this. 
in Beyond the Classroom. Okay, so now we move on to within the classroom, undergraduate admissions. For this Y um, essay, I'm gonna do psychology since I work with a lot of students that are applying to the psychology major at NYU and actually um, health and policy, but I'm gonna do psychology for today. So this take a virtual tour, a really great way of seeing kind of firsthand student-centric comments, right? So actual students talking about NYU. I love that they're showing you kind of geographically where the city is in tandem to the university buildings, right? So the this is not your typical campus, right? You're seeing how the city kind of melds into the campus and the campus blends into the city. And that's a really important point that you want to mention. So besides, instead of rather, I love New York City because it is this bustling city where you know, everything happens at a million miles a minute and that is the center of the universe and I want to be there, you can talk about how NYU's campus is kind of a city campus in the sense of the buildings kind of interchange with other buildings of the city, right? You can actually quote any of these students, so that's important. And so if we continue moving down, we get kind of the three main degree-seeking um, campuses, Shanghai, Abu Dhabi, and in uh, New York City. Then we have some interesting facts here. So NYU is the highest number of international students. NYU sends more students uh, to study abroad than any other university. And about 95% of students graduate when graduating get a job within the first six months. So these three I would copy paste and put them um, in I would say beyond the classroom or living and learn and socializing at NYU. Are you applying to another school and need help with the research process for the Why This College essay? Comment below, I'd love to help. Okay, so then this is undergraduate admissions. From here, you wanna go to the majors. And I'm gonna do um, College of Arts and Sciences because that's where social sciences are, which is my department of psychology. So I'm gonna click on psychology. And so we see that they have study abroad programs areas of study. So if you listen to my UPenn Why Us um, video last week, they had concentrations. NYU has areas of study. So those are kind of details that you want to pay particular attention to when you're writing this essay. So um, if you are applying to Penn, I would definitely recommend that, um, that video. So here we have different psychology courses um, in, in study abroad, right? So You'd pick a, let's say you'd want to go to Abu Dhabi for a semester. So you can copy paste this into living and socializing. Or I would do beyond the classroom actually. And these are loose um, subheadings to keep it organized, but you can kind of, you know, figure out the way you want to do it. So these are the areas of study, right? So let's say we're going to do personality or perception and social. So here you have a list of courses. You can pick any of the courses that you that you find of interest, use the course prefix in your essay so that they sh they see that you're using their language. And so you can pick from perception, you can pick social, then I would pick a professor. And so this is associate professor Jonathan Freeman, and so he studies social perception, so how we kind of make judgment calls, um, split second judgment calls based on kind of, you know, someone's face or how we category, uh, categorize people into social groups. Um, so I'm going to copy and paste his information. He has a lab that may be of interest, right? So you can, um, you can see how you can join them. Undergraduate research opportunities. So you have an independent study. So you can say it would be a privilege to participate in the um, independent study with Professor Freeman, learning about X, Y, Z. So let's go back to our notes. So the homepage news you can start with, you can say something about one or two of these pieces, right? So you can start with, um, I never thought that taking a selfie would take me out of this present moment while studying New York University's website, blah, blah, blah. And then you can just start with kind of, and mention any specific professors, right? So a professor of marketing, you can talk about this um, 
this section. Then you're going into learning in the classroom. So remember how I showed you courses, right? I picked two here. So you can say something like in Professor John Freeman's course or um, two courses of interest and just go straight in of interest are prejudice and stereotyping and psychology of addiction since and then you give your why right I would say something like my AP psych course junior year delved into theories of give something specific which were of great interest then you'd go into pursuing this intellectual passion with NYU's vast resources would allow me to practice what I learned beyond the classroom so I'm kind of transitioning from learning in the classroom to research or beyond the classroom right and then you, you can go into the research. For instance, I could volunteer at the Social Cognitive and Neuroscience Lab with Professor John Freeman or participate in the SURP, which is an undergraduate research um, initiative. Here you would give a couple of sentences of the research that Professor Freeman does, right? Then the next section, um, so technically, right, this would be in research but basically it's the same then beyond the classroom you would start this paragraph with further NYU's student resources will assist me when pursuing an internship in my chosen field at the Wasserman Center notice we mentioned the name of the center I can connect with fellow peers and staff along with canvassing NYU's career net to find enriching opportunities further the undergraduate research conference and that's a conference that they have right will deepen my knowledge of sharing effective communication skills, uh, working collaboratively with um, students of diverse backgrounds and multidisciplinary cohorts. So that's, um, that's a buzzword right now. So studying with students from English, philosophy, if you're a psych major, right? Um, physics. So how can you study with different people from different uh, disciplines and kind of come up with something new that you wouldn't necessarily have come up with by yourself. Then something like at NYU, opportunities are never ending. Whether I want to pursue studying abroad or working in one of NYU's global campuses, I'm confident that the Office of Global Studies will expertly guide me um, to so much valuable learning, right? So you have the three, let's say we pick Abu Dhabi's. So if studying abroad, I would be interested in NYU's Abu Dhabi campus, something about here, and then mention two courses that you can take there. You have Berlin, you have London, you, there are plenty, plenty opportunities, right? You would just pick one and talk about two courses. Then you can end with living and socializing at NYU. So you go to university life, and you go to get involved, I would go to student organizations, clubs, I pick share meals at NYU, and another maybe identity related topic. So we go back to our, and so here I have, while home, I look forward to joining student sustainability organizations like share meals at NYU, the one I just clicked, and um, let's see, an, an identity um, related club. So let's say an American Association of Blacks and Energy. Um, if you're African American, you can do the Latino one, you can do a Jewish studies one, something that kind of relates to you that you're bringing kind of an aspect of your identity to campus. No matter where I go or how far I reach, and why you will always be home or my North Star is just kind of a nice way of saying it. It's a sense of place that traditions like the Strawberry Festival, I showed you the picture of right through Instagram, um, enrich or nourish or whatever. So you have that picture where um, NYU's long-standing kind of long and short cake um, and so with this YNYU essay you are giving specifics of the campus right fun fact to sprinkle in right we are fighting violets uh, the mascot is a bobcat and it kind of um, is linked to hence the library name Elmer Holmes Bobst library it could be just the Bobst library um, that is located at 70 Washington Square South in the southeast corner of the park. Uh, people who know me, like really know me, they're gonna be like, you're a fraud. You have no sense of direction. How do you know that? I Wikipedia that, relax. But you can say something like, I see myself sipping a hot cup of coffee, walking into the Bopes Library on a crisp spring morning. And as a fighting violet, all opportunity is within reach. So you can bring in these little kind of elements of, um, 
location and and kind of you know school spirit to really add a fun dimension to the beginning or ending of the essay now that you know what to research what to add in for flair make sure you don't forget that college essay that main college essay i have a free download in the description below a college essay guide to help you kind of organically fit in the information to maximize your candidacy depending on what type of essay i also give you kind of tips on effective anecdotes storytelling and how to kind of reflect so you need critical and creative elements in that essay. If you like this video and you found it helpful, give me a Bobcat, comment below Bobcat, and give us a like, share with your college-bound friends, and uh, if you have any questions, let me know. I'd love to help you with your why us. Thank you so much. More soon.